Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yes, this so-called mini-series, as we once named it, is still ongoing, despite the massive, massive hiatuses between episodes this year, especially these last couple of episodes. For that, again, I do apologize. This has just been one of those absolutely ridiculous years, but hopefully that insanity is now going to slow down and the rate of episodes is going to pick up. Again, I've been talking about this a little bit during streams, and if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you'll also sort of have a bit of a heads up with regards to what's been going on. Again, link to that is in the description down below. But folks, now, especially more than ever, I need to know if you are still interested in watching Workers and Resources on this channel, please don't hesitate to keep leaving those likes and comments down below. They make a massive difference, again, in the decision making that happens on the channel. It's why I've come back time and time again to Workers and Resources despite the breaks between episodes because I've seen your interest expressed, uh, you know, in the comments and the likes and all that kind of stuff. So. Please don't hesitate again to keep letting me know if that's still the case because we're going to keep this series going for as long as you're interested because I most certainly am. And I know it can be a little uh, hard to believe that because of the breaks, but like I said, it's been one of those years and I've been aching to come back to Works and Resources. It's very exciting to see some of the massive updates and upgrades that are happening still. Uh, the game is still in early access, which is, I mean... I, I guess it's a bit of a surprise, but also not because they're making so many huge leaps and bounds as we go through the old town right now. Uh, I want to just highlight actually some of those leaps and bounds that we won't be touching today because, again, if uh, you recall our previous session, uh, we have a few massive undertakings in, ahead of us already. But I just want to highlight that there is this whole new system of waypoints for roads. Now, I call it new. It's a couple of updates old now, but it's new for us on this channel as far as the series is concerned. But you've got all sorts of stuff like, um, well, regular waypoints, which I guess, you know, for buses and stuff like that, we've we've, we've seen that before. But you've got uh, weight limits. You've got limitations on what kind of vehicles can go on certain roads. You've got speed limits. You've got traffic lights. You've got like, you know, yield signs and all that kind of stuff. I'm really curious. Now, between the recording of the previous episode and this episode, I did pop in to see, you know, how the game was doing. I do still stay up to date with the game uh, and, and stay on top of it. It is still a part of my, you know, routine to make sure I'm aware of what's going on in the game so that when we do dive in to record an episode, I'm not completely caught unawares. And it was really interesting to see how some of these mechanics uh, might change how our city operates. I mean, do I start using speed limits to actually influence where vehicles go? Do I actually try and find a way to get more vehicles on those, you know, pseudo highways that we've built? Anyway, all conversations for later. If any of you have already played with a bunch of these uh, tools, and feel free to let me know what you feel about them or your learnings or your suggestions in the comments down below. Again, I do read all the comments, uh, and it would be helpful to have perhaps more informed opinions or, uh, you know, I guess anecdotal uh, references to go by as we start experimenting with them. But again, that's at least a couple of episodes away, I think, because today's episode is mainly going to be about power distribution. Um, I think that's sort of a bit of a priority, uh, trying to clean up this crow's nest, not just the one crow's nest, but we've got a few crow's nests across the uh, the nation. So I kind of want to clean that up. And then after that, we also want to go over uh, to plumbing. Again, last session we implemented heating. We don't yet know if it's going to work. We don't know if everyone's going to start dying after, you know, we hit play and the negative five degrees hits and everyone starts either leaving or dying. I, we don't yet know how well that, that experiment's going to play out. But of course, I have a save file from before that experimentation. So worst case scenario, we can always we can always go back or I might even be able to shut uh, climate off again. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we'll see. We'll find a solution if we have to. Uh, however, eventually, you know, as we're doing all these experiments, I also want to do the experimentation with the uh, the water mechanics that actually, you know, have you cleaning water, pumping water around, all that kind of stuff. Lots of good stuff coming. But uh, like I said, today's focus is uh, the, um, the, the grid, the electrical grid, and I'm not sure how well this will go. Uh, this is what inspired, this is partly what inspired this decision, right? Like this horrible mess we have over here. Uh, how unclean and uncouth this area looks as well. Uh, but mainly it's because we've completed, of course, our nuclear power plant. It happened a handful of sessions ago now, and we have so much power generation going down, but uh, it's very underutilized. I like how clean uh, things are over here. Like, we have the, uh, the, the power lines obviously bringing power down to here, and we have this distributing the power underground to all of the, um, uh, all of the, uh, what are they called? Not, not the heat exchange. Why am I looking at the heat exchange? All of the 
Word is escaping me. Substations, thank you. Uh, over here, some of them are definitely overburdened right now. I don't think we'll revisit that today. We can save that for another time. My sort of pressing uh, matter right now is getting nuclear power uh, down to Uprising Grad area. Like, I say Uprising Grad, I mean the entirety of the, you know, modern parts of the nation, uh, but also to Veterinka Grad and, uh, and, yeah, the old country as well. We'll see if we can't uh, shut down these coal power plants when it's time to hit play in, you know, the next couple of episodes. Uh, but, yes, today we're going to focus on the... Uh, the horrible mess we've created as far as power generation is concerned, it's going to happen in time-lapse form. I'm hopefully going to be talking through most of it, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of it is uh, just music and, uh, and, uh, and action. And I hope you enjoy the time-lapse. Again, uh, not to repeat myself, but I cannot stress if you are having a good time. I cannot stress enough, I should say, if you're having a good time, uh, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. And uh, let's uh, let's get workers and resources uh, back on track, right? Let's bring uh, power to the people anew with that uh, nuclear power plant off in the distance. Folks, it's time-lapse time. All right, folks, here we are back at it again with a huge undertaking today. And I'll be completely frank with you right off the bat over here. I do not know how smooth this is all going to turn out. In fact, I should take that back. I think it's going to turn out quite rough. I have a couple of hunches with regards to what I've probably done sort of inefficiently, let's put it that way. Uh, and, and I have some ideas for how I can improve on what I did today. Uh, again, a lot of this is like hindsight 2020, right? I put a lot of stuff down. You'll see a lot of effort going into this time lapse. And then after the fact, I kind of realized, well, hang on a second. I didn't quite think, you know, X, Y, and Z thing through. But I think uh, depending on what you guys say as well in the comments, again, uh, there's a huge conversation after this time lapse about what we did today as well. So, uh, you know, please check that out and, and, and get your input in as well. Because based on my own feelings, and what I see from y'all in the comments, I am, uh, well, it'll determine what we do next time. Right now, I'm feeling like there might be, what we might end up doing next time is reworking some of the work I did today, uh, because I noticed a couple of issues. So reworking some of that, but then also hitting play and seeing if our electrical work and our heating actually, you know, works. What scares me a little is, of course, if it doesn't work, people start to die, people start to leave, it might be chaos, but that's future talk. Let's talk about the present. Uh, what you just saw me do, or what you're seeing me do, is rearrange the rat's nest uh, that was located just north of Studensky, uh, where a lot of the you know power uh, distribution and 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 arranging was going on. Didn't love uh, how uh, how that looked, so I wanted to rework that. Now, right off the bat, actually, this first thing that we're putting down, I think I'm going to adjust it in a future episode, probably the next one. It's one of the things that, uh, again, in hindsight, and I talk about this a little bit, I think, after the time lapse, but I put just a little bit too much pressure on this line I'm putting down right now, and you can actually see uh, it's putting the pressure on me as well as I try to make it fit in these ideal spots that happen to exist in various parts of the city. You'll see that a couple of times here and there, but it does end up working out. But yeah, I do feel like you'll see, I, I bring that line through um, and I use, I try to use underground uh, wires for medium voltage stuff where possible. Uh, I, I keep, uh, as you can see now, I do keep a lot of stuff above ground because the uh, the, the throughput of, of wires above ground is significantly higher in many cases. So I almost never use underground wires for the high voltage stuff, especially. Uh, I try and stay, you can see, I, I try and get ahead of any potential issues, but obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're still going to see some problems when, when I hit play, I'm almost certain. Uh, I can almost guarantee we were already seeing problems with, uh, with some of the power distribution and, and overload at some of the substations. So I guarantee we'll see some of that. Uh, and some of that will be even further, you know, exacerbated by the fact that uh, well, we're transferring or, or or switching over to underground wiring in a lot of places that above that had above ground wiring, and again with that aforementioned reduced throughput, you know that's just problems on problems. Anyway, this is that same line earlier that I said I would want to uh, change up a bit, and you'll see just how much of a load I put on this, and I think it's too much. Uh, again, hindsight 2020. Y'all, let me know if you think I am uh, you know worrying too much about it, but I'm pretty sure uh, we've got this thing coming down. Uh, feeding through here again. So it, it it comes to the nuclear power plant. It gets split once. 
right? Then it comes all the way down here next to the, the, the tracks to the right there where it gets split again. Then it comes down towards the middle over here where it gets split again. And then it gets split once more north of the, the, the coal power plant. Um, and then it distrib like distributes power. Way too much, I think. Way too much. You can see down over here, I realized that... Uh, that that coal power plant was actually sending power in in, in so many directions, uh, and I, I I realize I have to make up for two coal power plants worth of power uh, going to these uh, all these spaces, and and currently I'm trying to take all that load onto one wire. Anyway, you can see every once in a while, by the way, I have to hit play just so I can demolish some of these uh, extraneous structures. I'm glad that I'm getting the opportunity to do that because uh, honestly, like. It really helps clean up a lot of the mess. We're getting a lot more right angles. We're getting a lot less wiring, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Every once in a while, we'll get some, you know, less than ideal wiring. But that's because I, I see no value. And let me know if you think differently. But I see no value in, like, you know, uprooting an entire city block uh, for the purpose of our wiring in a video game. I understand why one might do it in real life. Uh, but here, I just think it's a little bit too much um, for, for what we're going for, you know. Uh, but yeah, over here, so you can see I've completely disconnected this uh, coal power plant to the north there. Um, I th This should work fine, uh, but you can see the number of splits happening. Uh, again, not to repeat myself, not to sound like a broken record, but you can see the number of splits happening and the reliance uh, of, of that one extremely heavy load-bearing um, line there. It, it, just as a reminder... Not only is that supporting Uprising Grad and Studensky, that same line, because of the way it's split, is also supporting Oxalinsky and all of the factories there. It's also supporting the mines of Moria. Like, there's too much on that, for sure. The more I say it, the more I describe it, the more I realize there's just way too much pressure on that one, one line. Anyway, you can see I also, apart from just uh, wiring up the nuclear power plant, I also go in and rewire some of the, uh, the substations that are, like, sort of deeper in the cities. Again, and I'll, I will say this again afterwards, so bear with me, but um, I, I, I'm i okay with outskirts and more rural areas having the above ground uh, power connections. But for more urban areas, I really want to use the underground connections as much as possible, even if it means having to put more uh, substations. Now, I'm sure, like, see, here's the thing. I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> the substations in the game are from a different era, you know, like their their output, their throughput is reflective of, you know, the 60s, 70s, maybe 80s. Um, and not just that, but also reflective of um, an unmodded game. We have a very heavily modded game. So our requirements are significantly higher than I think they would be if we were playing an unmodded game with regular, you know, residential buildings and stuff like that. So it looks funny seeing like five or six, you know, um, uh, substations side by side by side I, I've never seen anything like that in real life outside of like at one of those major like power hubs and that those aren't those aren't substations those are like transformers and stuff right um, so it looks a little funny but I think it's what we have to do I I've not come across I don't think I've come across a mod yet that has you know a substation that's actually more uh, powerful I don't think I've seen that yet so if you know of one let me know link it to me and, and I'll uh, like you, you'd have to throw it in the discord because YouTube will block it Discord link is in the description down below, but throw it at me, and I'll, I'll use that instead. It'll look a little bit neater. Anyway, so that's, again, a lot of the uh, substations fixed up, attached through underground wiring instead. I also put down an extra one. Can't recall if I've done it yet, but I do put an extra one down in, I believe, Midtown Krasna. Uh, here you can see I'm adding another uh, connection. Now this is our first actually new connection to the power plant because the, all the previous work was based off of the uh, connection we'd already made previously but just cleaned up so now we're adding our first new connection you'll see a lot of trees are being demolished or cut down i guess we will be replacing them of course as soon as all this infrastructure work is done i want to go back and i want to do a forestry pass to make sure we have our trees back right uh, keep it nice and green and clean now here we have again this line coming through uh, i've got a switch there i don't use the switch just yet but i feel like we might need to and again this is hindsight speaking Right now, I only use this as a second source of uh, high voltage power uh, to Krasna, except on the north side. And I think I will probably need to pull more from here. So I, I, I think between the two high voltage sources, we've got a decent like amount of power coming through. But I do think we need a third one, actually, uh, just to make sure 
that that first line I was talking about isn't so overwhelmed. You can see here again, I'm doing a little bit of cleanup. Uh, there was there were some wires that traveled significantly farther than they needed to. Now that we have this northern you know connection point, uh, so you can see I'm, I'm 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 reworking some of these connections, and hopefully they'll be stable, and hopefully they'll work uh, they'll they'll work just as well as the previous connections did. Hopefully. Uh, apart from that, though, what I was saying about hindsight is I, I put the switch there by the bridge earlier, uh, you know, from the nuclear power plant crossing the water. Uh, I think I'm going to use that sec that second connection, or I, I guess the third connection, the second output, uh, to go and provide support, perhaps at the uh, the at, at Zavotsk, basically in that in that general area. Because one thing that occurred to me after this whole episode's like time lapse was done and. And I think even after I record my post time lapse conversation, again we don't hit play this session. It's all it's all theorizing and and and, and prediction, you know, kind of seeing of the future based on past experiences. But I do believe that uh, our trains might just struggle a little bit, and we cannot afford for our trains to struggle for even a moment because if our trains if our if our electrified tracks do not receive enough power uh, everything shuts down workers don't get to the heating stations workers don't get to the nuclear power plant workers don't nothing happens nothing happens the trams shut down it could be terrible so i'm a little worried about that so i might end up shifting things around a little bit and and just ensuring that we have that taken care of but also we can use that uh, to provide power you know elsewhere if I if I deem it necessary when I do a revisit now finally we're in the old city we're back at Vetsarinkograd and figuring out how to connect uh, to the nuclear power plant over here this one actually worked out relatively easily but again I worry that uh, I'm putting too much uh, strain and pressure on one line it might be okay but again we got an 18 megawatt uh you know line coming through over here one of the high voltage um uh wires coming through uh through the uh, rural spaces over over top of the farms uh reworking this entire section over here trying to disconnect that coal power plant as best as possible and also adding well uh, switching things around basically previously it used to be from the coal power plant uh it would go to a switch and that switch would then distribute uh, to a transformer in the local area, and then to another switch, uh, which would, uh, sorry, and then to another transformer, which would distribute to the uh, rural area um, where all the farming and stuff is happening. But we've kind of flipped it around now where the switch in the rural area is now the input, basically, and, uh, and the old, you know, first step is now like the second to last step into distribution into Vetsarinkograd. So things have flipped around a little bit, but we're able to maintain the old... Um, infrastructure a, a fair bit actually and that makes me quite happy we only had to demolish a handful of buildings and build a handful of new buildings uh, but hopefully hopefully it's, you know hopefully that's not a problem <laughs> but you can see over here i'm uh, i'm adamant about uh, completely disconnecting this uh, this coal power plant and as i'm doing that i actually realized that there are a couple of connections to this transformer over here that didn't go anywhere so for the longest time we had a bunch of uh, you know open-ended wires i guess Either way, that's all been cleaned up now, and you can see we're cleaning up the, uh, the last couple of medium voltage connections to the power plant as well. This will require the use of another switch or two. Again, might be putting a bit too much pressure on the uh, uh, on, on this one line coming over here over top of the farms at uh, Rurolinsky and stuff. It might be okay, but I have my doubts, so we might want to add a uh, an additional um, high voltage uh, line coming in from uh, from the nuclear power plant up over here it would seem ridiculous that one coal plant has to be replaced by two lines but again the lines they have their limitation right they have they have a, a rather significant limitation so i might need to do that uh, and i might need to bring, bring um high voltage uh, wires in to help power the trains up over here as well potentially i don't know there's a, there's a lot going down this session uh there's a lot that's gone down this session i should say because this is the end of the time lapse i hope you all enjoyed it we're gonna go back to regular speed and discuss everything you saw and uh, more all right folks we are back from the time lapse and uh you know i'm 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 not sure if uh everything we did is gonna work out properly i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you i'm gonna quickly run through some of the stuff we did during that time lapse uh i feel like sometimes during the time lapse i can't tell because i'm recording this audio right now before i actually record the time lapse audio so i don't actually know uh if i am able to touch on everything during the time lapse because it might have gone by too quickly so i just want to touch on some of the salient features and and points 
uh, in, in regular time while I'm actually kind of like, you know, navigating through the space and stuff so I can talk about what I think uh, will work and how I think this should work. And uh, hopefully if we notice any major issues, they'll be easily fixed. Um, well, hopefully we won't notice any major issues. Hopefully I've done everything absolutely perfectly. And when we actually build all these uh, connections, everything will work flawlessly. I know there are some issues uh, that will come up and we're going to have to fix those uh, for sure. But I don't think I feel comfortable fixing them uh, just without actually having the practical data in front of me. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I can, in theory, foresee being problematic, but until I actually see where we're having outages and what kind of throughput we need, I don't think I feel comfortable making guesses. Uh, I did try to offset some of that trouble, uh, you know, ahead of time during this time lapse itself. But, uh, you know, as, 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 as you will have seen, if you've been following this Let's Play, that's one of the things uh, I definitely struggle with uh, from time to time, uh, <laughs> apart from the train signals. Uh, the, the power throughput and how it actually spreads is something I kind of struggle with every once in a while. I, I've noticed some issues, some some like hot spots, I guess, uh, and I tried to fix some of them. But I think, uh, yeah, once once everything's built and, and, and running, I'll be able to tell a bit better what I need to do. So why don't we go ahead and uh, come back over here. So just as a reminder, uh, the existing connections are from the nuclear power plant uh, down to this uh, transformer over here. That transformer then has a bunch of underground wires going out. There are a few slots still available here for the inevitable expansion of the area, but uh, there are a couple of underground connections to various um, substations, and some of them are a little overwhelmed. Not too terribly overwhelmed. I will need to reorganize this space a little bit afterwards, but uh, I'm going to save that for later. We're, we're all right for now overall, but yeah, we, we've got this. This is from a while ago now. I have a few episodes, but you know, in terms of real life time, it's from a while ago now. So that's that's been working okay. Well enough, I would say. Um, apart from that, the other thing we already had built was the connection over to here, uh, across the water, uh, down the highway over here. And this is where it used to be a massive rat's nest. It might still feel a bit messy, but it's significantly cleaner. We got a lot more right angles going on over here. We don't have a huge like uh, cable going, you know, through the middle of uh, of town over here. Some cleanup still needs to be done, I think. Uh, I just want to figure out how exactly I might be able to replace some of these wires with underground wires. Obviously, in more rural areas or in more kind of like outskirt kind of areas, I'm okay with there being wires above ground they do have a higher throughput they are able to push more power through so i'm okay with that happening in areas like this where you know it feels kind of like oh yeah it's on the edge of town kind of stuff but you know in the heart of the city and stuff i really want to be using underground wires more but that does mean we'll need more um substations because the underground wires again they have a lower throughput right so that's what i'm trying to like figure out going forward and that's what we'll still need to come back and, and make some adjustments to anyway that's what uh, existed previously let me touch on what i've changed and why don't we start with actually that's that uh, rat's nest right so up over here we still have that uh, high voltage wire coming through rearrange this a fair bit so again we do not have that going down this way anymore instead we have um our power pushing out this way Coming down through these tracks, there was this massive empty area. I feel like this is kind of like outskirts of both of these, uh, these, well, satellite cities almost. It's like you've got Uprisingrad and then Studensky and then, and then, uh, Krasna, right? But it, it, it's in between Studensky and Krasna, both massive cities. There's hardly a gap between them, obviously. They're like one mega city. But either way, there's this blank spot in between them, so I thought it'd be nice to have the power run down this way. It then uh, takes this left turn over here from our like vantage point and heads over this way. And you can see I connect to that same point as earlier. Like previously, we used to have a high voltage connection come down this way past the park over to here. Um, except we could not get an 18 volt. Uh, I think it's 18, right? Or um, volt. <laughs> volt. 18 megawatts. Sorry, it's been it's been a while since I've uh, since I've spoken about this game out loud. So uh, some of the verbiage is uh, is skipping my mind. 18 voltage. 18 uh, mega. Oh, please tell me. Hang on a second. Hang. On. Okay, I don't know why. 14 was selected there. 14 looks very distinct. I would have noticed if I was putting down 14s everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. We definitely have put down 18s everywhere. That was a bit of a scare there. I was like, hang on a second. Did I just spend the last however long putting down the wrong wires? No. So these are all 18 megawatt um, 
uh, uh, high voltage wires. That's why I had the word volt in my head. We used to have one going down this way, connecting through here. We no longer have that. We could not make that one 18 because it wouldn't fit in these like narrow spaces or it looked hideous. I forget which one it was exactly. I think it was a bit of both. Um, so instead now we uh, we kind of go around and do a little loop, but it's not it's not all wasted wiring because it does get us a bit closer to this connection over here. Either way, um, so we go over this way, we connect up to here, and over here we split off into a couple of distribution points. One over here, one over here. Again, clean this up a fair bit as well. There was a there was a uh, a, a relay or, or what's it called a a switch over here, if I recall correctly. There was something over here that we needed to bounce, uh, you know, between. Uh, don't need that anymore. We've got this up over here instead now and that's spreading uh, power up that way and it's sending power down this way as well I think actually I do have a couple of medium. No, I don't. Okay, cool Just had to make sure there. So uh, this one is completely disconnected. This one I believe is also oh no actually, you know what? All right, we'll fix this uh, in the future um, Could maybe could Maybe do it right now. Actually, I was gonna say I think this one's completely disconnected as well, but it seems it is not where does this wire go? All the way over to here, up to here, keeps going up this way. Where do you go? Up to there, geez. Okay, I can definitely swap that out, right? Because I got this guy over here. So why don't we go ahead and just do a little bit more cleanup over here. Uh, sorry, I should have done this during the time lapse, but I didn't realize I had those connections still. Uh, I cleaned up the uh, the Veterinka grad power plant a bit better, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and clean all this up. And again, hopefully I'm getting the right amount of power through. The thing is, see, I don't know I understand in theory all the variables I've changed, right? In theory, um, in in theory, I have more power uh, flowing through those larger wires, and uh, and so the splits here shouldn't be reducing the throughput too much, but these medium wires still only have their maximums as well, um, 2.35, right? So at these switches, I'm still only getting 2.35 megawatts, uh, regardless of what's coming to these switches or transformers, I should say. So that's something I've been I've, I've been struggling with. Again, I, I think I understand it in theory. It's not something I'm, a, I'm an expert in, nor do I pretend to be. Uh, but I, that's why I want to actually have it running so I can see where my uh, flaws are where, where the where the mistakes have been made and I can go in and I can clean things up But let's go ahead and how do I, how do I make this neat? I want to kind of try and make this stuff as neat as possible over here. Let's move you up to there, right? Great enough uh, Pull you over this way. Can I get past these? Oh, yeah, I can Over this way Cool. pull you down this way. No building in the way. I guess it's the gas station Will you pass the gas station? I really want to from down this way. Oh, we can. All right, cool. Let me just cancel this. There's a lot of this kind of fiddling going on during that time lapse as well. I wanted it to be as close to perfect as possible so that, you know, in the future when we're more rushed, I don't have to... At least the the baseline is 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 neat, you know? <laughs> there we go. Don't love that, I'll be completely honest. I have to space these out nicely as well when possible. And I do this. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer. I keep pulling you down this way along the road. And hook you up over there. All right, cool. Much shorter distance for the uh, for the for the, the wire there, um, and it uh, you know disconnects our uh, coal power plant a bit as well. And of course we have this other one which goes up Come on. this way. Would we'll be able to disconnect you and hook you up to this guy instead. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and cancel this one as well. Go ahead and hook you up like so. Can I go? Oh, plus we're going to have to put more uh, trees down again afterwards because I did like the trees, but unfortunately, even when you're making underground uh, connections, trees get completely destroyed. So we're going to have to go in and plant more trees again. Uh, so that's that. There is one more connection here, isn't there? There's this one. It goes down this way and connects to what? Connects to... Jeez, where do you connect to? This guy. All right. I almost wonder if I'd be better off, like, continuing a high voltage wire down this way. No, I don't think so. Um... I could pull down from there, I suppose. Again, right? Like I don't know if I'm overwhelming this this uh, junction now, right? Because I've got 18 coming through, 18 going over to here, but then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pulling 2.35. I mean, technically that should be fine, right? Because that's 12. Point, no, that's 13.3. Uh, uh, however, we're also pulling over to here, and we're gonna have you know one, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
uh, pulling at the same rate. Like, I feel like I'm overwhelming this junction, and it's not going to know which way to, sp uh, to spread. And so I should actually have two, um, not just two of these, but two coming from the nuclear power plant all the way down to here uh, to make sure I have enough for each of these, uh, each of these uh wires that that's drawing if they're drawing at maximum power then again you know it's not even like 18 is coming all the way over here because we have this split over here as well and uh, and some of it's being sent over here which also has six connections pulling 2.35 each at a minimum so right like i feel like there are issues here i also feel like we we can probably solve them i don't want to say easily but there are solutions out there you know like i can i can draw another line down this way pull it through uh, and come around. I guess my biggest struggle is I haven't seen these setups in real life, like physically seen how this stuff works, because that's my fastest way of learning. That's that's how I learn best is when I can see how things actually work and I can go, oh, wow, you know what? It's not so unrealistic for me to have these massive cables side by side by side by side in this field of wires, right? Because to me, even just saying that aloud, like, it, it sounds silly. It's like, of course that doesn't happen. Or maybe it does happen. We're also living in a completely different era from the setting of this game, obviously. But hopefully you get what I'm saying. Either way, let's, let's do that. That disconnects this coal power plant completely. Now, back to what I was talking about. So, we have uh, connection number one going all the way over, coming all the way down. Uh, it splits over here. Connects to this, that uh, feeds into Brixtonia and a little bit of Uprising Grad. It splits over here, and I don't actually know... Alright, these are for extra connections to Brixtonia, and a one connection in Uprising Grad, I believe. Uh, but otherwise, we have the giant wires going over this way, down this way. Again, it splits. One of it sort of goes over here and, and, and starts to distribute to uh, Krasna, this corner of Krasna. Uh, and then we've, obviously, it goes further out. We have distribution all the way up to uh, here, I think, is the furthest we go. Uh, maybe even further, actually. Yeah, we got one one distribution point up over here. So, uh, the, the southern parts of, of Krasna. Uh, and then the other side, I mentioned, goes over this way. Connects up over here. That we just, what we just fiddled with. Uh, but it also splits over here, comes down. Part of it goes to supply our, like, huge mines of Moria and the, uh, the, the, the factories at Oksalinsky. But uh, the other part of it continues on this way and hooks up to our uh, to our power supply over here, also to the south of Krasna. But this actually feeds our university and our uh, uh, sorry our university and our like uh, cultural center, uh, as well as the uh, far end of Krasna over here. We so that's that's just the one connection, and I feel like it is definitely overburdened. I feel like it's 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 taking a lot of pressure and a lot of stress. So I think we're going to have to rework that a little bit further, but uh, y'all let me know. I, correct me if I'm wrong, right? I could very well be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I do think we'll need to uh, re uh, rejig that a fair bit more. I was trying to reuse the existing infrastructure as best as possible for this uh, uh, initial pass, but I might need to go a bit further than that. Now, that was connection one. Connection two that we added today is, uh, is this one. Um, so, well, that was connection one that we modified Connection 2 is one we added completely fresh, which is this one. So this one goes out over here, comes down, runs parallel to the other line, comes all the way across the water. And over here we have a, uh, a, a just thinking ahead, I put a switch down. But for now we just have the one line drawing all the way down over to here, over to here where we have our transformer. And I actually disconnected um, this and... Uh, I thought it was a couple of... Yeah, this and uh, this... Um, what's it called? substation they've been disconnected from the old area and now they're they're getting power from here so hopefully that alleviates some of the stress that would have otherwise been applied to the previous connection we were talking about and uh, and this should work nicely i think this one's pretty clean we've got this going down over to here for another um uh for for for, for a what's called medium voltage switch uh we'll be able to feed some more places from here it's just feeding one for now we've got this switch over here as well feeding a couple of substations and then of course as you saw me add uh well, rather no. So it also goes over to here for another switch. This switch feeds a couple of spots down over here. I added a new substation in this area because these substations were uh, overburdened. Um, so hopefully with the switch to underground, at least the extra substations uh, will help out. Uh, fingers crossed. And then you saw me add, yes, this extension over here that connects to this substation. We'll see how it plays out. And finally, the third new addition uh, with the nuclear power plant uh, is, or the third modification, I guess, 
uh, is this connection over here. We have uh, going up over this way, up to the, uh, the over the tracks over here. Takes a sharp left, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Connects over to here. Now, previously, the way this used to work was very different. The coal power plant was pushing power over to here. From here, it would split provide some power to this uh, transformer over here, and it would also go up over and hit this uh, from where we have a few different connections serving a few different areas. So I've kind of flipped that around. Now instead the power comes in from over here, right? Still connected to this like it used to be, um, but now also going over this way uh, to connect to this. So the input to this now is coming from the top, and it goes ahead and distributes to the uh, the transformer over here, and it also comes down to this switch over here, bringing a lot more power than it used to, because previously it used to be the 14 megawatt connections, now it's 18, um, and then and then this goes from 18 to 14, so maybe I should switch that around as well. This also goes from 18 to 14, going over this way and hooking up to uh, Rustinsky and all that. But I, I think that's fine, that should still be fine, that's how it's worked before, so it should be fine to work that way now as well. Uh, if anything, I might switch this out to the 18, um, and I, I think that would maybe supply more power to this transformer and, and, and we'll be okay. Question mark. Uh, but either way, that's how this has been cleaned up. So that's disconnected this power plant. You'll see we have all of our mediums disconnected. We have all of our high voltages disconnected. So this coal power plant, in fact, rather, all three coal power plants have technically been disconnected. They will still continue to serve within a radius around them because that's how that's how they work. But eventually, when I'm confident that all this is working, I might actually, I, I don't think I'd demolish them, but I might switch them off and there'll be vestiges of a, of, of a time long gone. That pretty much covers everything we uh, got down to today. Hopefully it all makes sense. Again, folks, if you notice any major issues that I've turned a blind eye to or uh, I, I haven't noticed because of my haste or misunderstanding of how the system works, please do not hesitate to let me know down below. Uh, because I will otherwise uh, double down on these mistakes and things will only get worse. Yeah, I, I, I think the one major thing that I can identify myself is that um, we are overburdening uh, this still. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I would rework all this to, uh, to, to work a bit better. How, rather, the big, the big issue or struggle I'm having is how do I bring more lines down from this power plant across the ways without making it all look messy, you know? Like, I don't want it to look messy. Like, imagine taking a boat and just seeing wire after wire after wire after wire down this river. I don't like that. I'm okay with this where they're on either side of a bridge. It's fine, I understand that as an infrastructural like ne necessity. Like, how else could I do it? Because the underground high voltage wires just don't, they don't do that much. 12 megawatts is really nothing. I mean, I say it's nothing. We, we worked with that in the past, but it feels like, uh, like a foolish move to do that when we have significantly more wattage we can bring through. So I'm just trying to figure out nice and neat ways to bring it down. I mean, I guess we could bring some down this way and have another uh, hub over here or, or, or something like that. But I, either way, that's all that's all going to come later. I do need to also reconsider how distribution happens from these. I mean, sure, they're getting more power now and sure we have more outputs now, like we have these um, one, two, three, four, uh, connections here that I don't think we used to have before. Maybe we did and I just never utilized them properly. Rather, I think we did have them, but they just weren't getting enough power to introduce additional, you know, uh, connections. Now, hopefully, with these 18s coming through, we'll have a bit more spare that we can actually send some more uh, more power around around these parts in Uprising Grad and reduce some of the pressure being applied on the, um, uh, on the substations over here. If I can find any of them, you'll see they are all very very overwhelmed i cannot find any right now but you're just gonna have to trust me and i'm sure you'll remember as well from the past oh here we go here's one all right they're all overwhelmed as much as i've tried to to reduce the pressure on them so i think uh we'll we'll revisit that but i didn't want to get too far ahead of myself next session we depending on your assessment of our circumstances and my own assessment after the fact i'll be taking another look at how all this has been laid out uh, we will either hit play and see if everything works and either see this playthrough survive or crumble and die and then after that if everything works we will go ahead and take a look at the uh the, the plumbing situation and uh, and get some plumbing going but folks this is where this session is going to come to a close i hope you enjoyed it if you did you know what to do let me know with a like and a comment down below yes it's a little bit of a shorter episode Episode, perhaps but that's largely because the time lapse took so very 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 long to record uh, so just trying to keep everything in check in terms of my own sanity especially as well but folks like i said if you had a good time leave a like leave a comment let me know let me know your thoughts on our work today as well if you notice any glaring issues 
Uh, and of course, as always, Discord conversation is always welcome as well. There's an exclusive channel for this series uh, and just this game as well on the Discord. Link is in the description down below. Don't hesitate to join in there and join in on the conversation. Uh, feel free to uh, yeah dive on in, folks. This is where we're calling it. Uh, behind these clouds, I don't think is the nicest place. There we go. There's our good old spot that we always used to end these episodes on. But folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. That's the Daniel.